And we're back, and this time I'm going to show you another version of the Radio Bar Graph in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to use the clipping mask for that one, but first on the view, we need to make sure we've got the smart guides and only snap the point activated. I will be using a black fill for now, no stroke. Use the pie chart, graph tool. I'll make that 300 times 300. Click on OK, and I make that 70, 30. All right, let me close that. Now I copy that with the selection tool, just hold Alt, drag a copy out of it, then I press Ctrl D. I select the second one, then go to Object Graph Data, and I can change it to 50 50. Let me change the third one to 25 75. So we've got three different data sets that we're going to use here. The one in the center was the one we created initially. Let me select them all, then I go to Object, Expand, and afterwards I want to ungroup it under Object. Alright, we can't ungroup it further, so that's the point we wanted to have. Select it all, get rid of the stroke. And now I shift click on the gray areas and I make that a fill of none. That way they become invisible. Let me give the other sort of black parts a different fill color. I'll choose a different one for each. And we are ready for our next step. And that involves the polar grid tool. You can find that under the line segment tool. Then just drag it and use the arrow keys up and down, left and right. So we need. I have four of these, so the center one, I'm going to delete it. And we don't want to have one of these radial dividers. I'll hold shift and it's a perfect circle. Make sure it's selected, go to stroke and increase the stroke weight. I'm going to go high here, somewhere around 30, 36 should be good. Select it, go to object and expand it, and we need to ungroup that as well. So that way, all of these concentric circles are individual shapes that are not grouped anymore. All right, let me delete the center one. We don't need it, and we've got the three that we want. I'll take the first one, put it somewhere, and I'll select the smallest of the data sets, so the pie charts, and I'll move it to the center, just like this. Make sure it's all selected. Then go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And there we have what we wanted. So the next circle to the center, the next pie chart, once again to the center. I need to increase the size. I'll hold shift and all when I do so. And I'll make sure that also the black one is selected. So I shift click on that. And once again, clipping mask under object. The final one, I need to resize it once more, holding shift and alt. And shift click on the black one, they're all selected. And you can see we've got a short key for that, which is Control 7. So I'll just use that. And here we are. This is how you can recreate this radial bar graph design in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.